no one else can touch my heart like you do. Sing, I could say, I could search, for I could say from the north to the south.
bless the name of the Lord. Oh, lift up your voice. Bless the name of the Lord. Open your mouth and bless the name of the Lord. Lift up your voice. Just lift up your voice. Blessing, 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 blessing. I cannot hear you. You can bless God. You can worship God without a song. You can worship God without a song. Oh, lift up your voice. Let me hear every voice in the house exalting the name of the Lord. Let me hear believers in the house magnify the Lord. Magnify the Lord. Ipa kapa, mosinteria ba kapa. Ipa ya mosinteria ba kapa. We bless you, Father. We thank you. We worship you. Ipa kapa ya mosinteria ba kapa. Ipa ya mosinteria ba kapa. Oh, we worship you, Father. We bless your name.
Kadosh, 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 Kadosh. is worthy of your praise. Father, indeed you are worthy. You are God who doesn't lie. When you speak, you do what you promise. And what you say, you are more than able to do. Tonight, the first Friday of 2023, we have come into your presence to encounter you, to experience you. Father, we have come so that you will do that which only you are capable of doing that which you are an expert in doing moving us from the backside of life and putting us in the front pulling us out of the pit and placing us on the hill father we thank you tonight have your way in this place i step aside the lord you will take charge let the sick be healed let our prayers be delivered let the captive be set free let the lord the unsaved be saved. Let miracles, signs, and wonders take place tonight. And let your name be glorified. And I hope you shall say a big amen. Put those two hands together for Jesus. Amen. Take your seats. For just five minutes. So don't get comfortable. It's just five minutes. You are just sitting down for five minutes. It's a week of the altar. Uh, under normal circumstances, you shouldn't be sitting. You should be standing with me. But I'm just giving you five minutes um, break. Relax your legs for five minutes because tonight we are going to do some serious warfare. Amen. The promises of God are, they are yea and amen in Christ. That means whenever God promises a thing or gives a promise, God will always, it's already settled and it's done. That means whatever God has said in his word is final. 
nothing, the Bible says, nothing can be added to it or taken away from it. So, when whatever God has promised to do in our lives, whatever it is that God has spoken concerning us, it is settled. It is settled. Tell anybody it is settled. So, so once it is settled, then you know that you are already coming from a winning point or you are on a winning side because the promises of God, they are good. The Bible says all good and perfect gifts come from above. The plans that he has for us, as scripture shows us, they are of good, not of evil, to bring us to an expected end. So whatever promise that God has concerning you, whatever God has said concerning you, whatever word that is upon your life, whatever promises that God has given to you, your family, your children, concerning your health, concerning your career, concerning your relationship, your marriage, God has spoken it. It is good and it is final. And once God has promised it, it will surely come to pass. And, and then my Bible tells me that none of the good promises that God gave the Israelites, not even one failed, each and every one came to pass. And the Lord has assured us this year is our year of experiencing his exceedingly, abundantly, far above what we can ask or even imagine. So whatever your desires are, whatever you are expecting from God, whatever it is that God has said to you in your, in, in, in your private chambers or publicly, God is going to glorify himself in that situation. Oh, I'm talking to one person here. Yeah, as much as God's, the promises of God or the word of the Lord is settled, and it is final, we still have to engage in battle for us to, be, us to be able to see manifestation. Someone say manifestation. Whenever God tells you something, or God shows you your future, or God reveals to you something, or God promises you a, 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 a perfect end or a good end, then you, that is the time God is telling you that you must rise up in battle and in warfare. Some of us as Christians, we think just because God has promised us something good or God has said something or God has spoken or God's word is final, that means it is automatic. No, it is not. Yes, it is final from God's perspective. Now we must align with God through warfare because, listen, you must come to that place where you understand as a Christian that we are here on earth. Every day is a battle. We are on battle. So that's why the Bible says we have been enlisted into the army of God. When you become born again, you have been enlisted. And what does the army, um, what do they do? They fight. They are ready for battle. Amen? So tonight, I don't know what the, uh, the promise that God has for you, has for your family, has for your children, has, has said concerning your health, concerning your career. Those promises are already settled in God. But then you must rise up in warfare and engage in battle. In Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 24, one of my favorite scriptures for warfare and battle, Deuteronomy chapter 2 verse 24, it says, rise up and take up your journey and cross the river Anon. This was God speaking through Moses to the Israelites, his covenanted people who he was leading to the promised land. Don't forget, he had given them a promise to take them to a land flowing with milk and honey. That was the promise. The promise was not for them to end up in the wilderness. When they came out, out of Egypt, he said, I am bringing you out that I may take you in to the land of promise, which is the land of covenant. The land which he promises their fathers Abraham, uh, Isaac, and Jacob. And now God was about to lead them into the promise that he had already given to them. Then he tells Moses, tell these people they have dwelt here in, in the wilderness for a long time. And if you read, I love the scriptures. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 1. Deuteronomy chapter 1. Deuteronomy chapter 1. Look at what the scripture says there. I love it. Actually, no, no. The chapter 2 verse 1. Chapter 2 verse 1. The God, the, this should assure you that wherever you find yourself now, that is, that, that is like you are stuck. That looks like you cannot move forward. It is not God's will for you. He said, then we turned and journeyed into the wilderness of the way of the Red Sea as the Lord spoke to me. And we skidded Mount Sia for many days. He said, we went around Mount Sia for many days. We skidded around there. And the Lord spoke to me saying, you have skidded this mountain long enough. Turn northward. 
the Lord is telling me to tell somebody here, you have remained in that condition long enough and you must move forward in life. Am I talking to somebody here? In the year 2023, I see you making progress in life. Uh, I see you moving forward in life. Uh, you have been going in circles for far too long. Uh, you have been retrogressing in life for far too long. Uh, and the Lord said you have dwelt on this mountain long enough. Uh, move northward towards your promise. Uh, move forward towards the, 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 the prophecy. Move forward towards the word of God concerning you. Am I talking to somebody here? May the Lord move you from where you are and where you have dwelt all this year, sir. Where you have been stagnated all this year. Where you have been delayed all this year. And move you up in life. Am I talking to somebody here? I feel like I'm communicating with only two people here. They have been dwelling at that place for far too long. You have been poor for far too long. You have been sick for far too long. You have been single for far too longer the Lord said move someone say move, move. or oh, someone say move. move listen you will never get out of your 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 place of pain and sorrow if you don't get tired of that place don't forget that the Israelites didn't come out of Egypt just because they wanted to um uh, just because it was time for them to come out the Bible says that they anymore. So then they began to cry out to God. And then God sent a deliverer and God brought them out. Until you get tired until you get tired of where you are, you remain where you are. Even though you are a covenanted child of God. Even though you are born again. Even though you are coming to church every day, you must tell yourself, enough is enough. Clap your hands and say in the name of Jesus. Oh, clap your hands and say in the name of Jesus. Say, devil, enough is enough. I've been in the backside of life for too long. I come out. Say, I come out out of barrenness, out of sickness, out of affliction, out of pain, out of tears. I come out wherever I've been kept. The Place of, place of sorrow. I break out. I break out. Say, I come out. I come out. Don't forget, when Peter was in prison, Peter didn't come out by, just by wishing and by just desiring. They had, the church had to demand for Peter's relief. Why? How do I know? When James was arrested and was in prison and the church did nothing, they didn't demand for his freedom, James was killed. Do you know who James was? James was like a Peter. He was one of the apostles. He died in prison. And the Bible says it pleased them to proceed further. You see, when you don't tell the devil enough is enough, what he did last year, he will repeat it and even repeat it double. Clap your hands in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say any nonsense, any nonsense that, the that the enemy brought my way, brought my way. In, the in the past years, I cancel it. I cancel it. Let, that nonsense, Let that nonsense be over. Be over. I, declare I declare the affliction, the affliction of yesterday, of yesterday, of yesterday yes. will not repeat itself. Any negative cycle that is determined to repeat itself in this year, say break, say I break it, say I refuse for the evil pattern, the negative pattern to continue, the disappointment, the delays, the setbacks, the, 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 the failures to continue, say I refuse it, I refuse it, I stop it, I stop it, say in this year, no more, no more sadness, sadness, no more, no more disappointment, disappointment, no more, no more, no more, no more delay. Delay. No more. No more. Setback. Setback. No more. No more. Frustration. Frustration. Say in this year. In this year. I shall laugh. I shall laugh. Every day. Every day. Of 2023. Of 2023. Shall be day. Shall be. Shall be a day. Shall be a day. Of laughter. Of laughter. A day. A day. Of testimony. Of testimony. A day. A day. Of celebration. Of celebration. No more tears. No more tears. No more tears. No more tears. No more sorrow. No more sorrow. Say I cancel. I cancel. Every evil. Every evil. Projected. Projected. In the atmosphere. In the atmosphere. That this year. That it must, it must be a repetition, a repetition of the same old, the, same old, the, bad, news, the bad news, the sorrows, the, sorrow, the disappointment. The disappointment. Say, I cancel it. I, cancel it. Say, I reject it. I reject it. I declare. I declare. This year, this year, we only carry, we only carry good news. Good news. This year, this year, will bring me, will bring me my 
my desire, my desire this, year this year will cause, will cause the heavens the heaven over, me over me and my family, and my family to, open. to open this year. This year when I knock, when I knock the, door the door shall open. Shall open. When, I enter, when I enter, I shall possess. I shall possess. This, year, this year when I speak, when I speak that is what my eyes, my eyes shall, see. shall see. My hands my hand shall, touch. shall touch. My ears my hand shall, hear. shall hear. My feet, my feet shall, enter. shall enter. This is my year. This is my year of abundance. Of abundance. This is my year. This is my of year of favor. Of favor. This is my year. This is my year of increase. Of increase. This is my year. This is my year of enlargement. Of enlargement. This is my year. This is my year of double. Of double. We will rise in your name. Say we will rise. We will rise. In your name. In your name. Say I don't know. I don't know. You ain't no rise. Say I will rise. Personally, I will rise. I will rise. He woke up one day. He said, no, I refuse to cause pain. I refuse that the name they have given me will have effect on me. So the Bible says he demanded a change. He said, Lord, 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verse 10. Put that on the board. And look at Jabez's prayer. You see, I'm trying to establish something here. I'm going somewhere. That if you, what you accept becomes part of you. What you accept becomes normal in your life. What you accept, you will never change. I will never be poor. I thought somebody would agree with me. I said, I'll never be poor. I was confessing this when even I wasn't a believer. There are certain principles that you don't even have to be born again for it to work for you. I can never die before my time. I will never be a failure. I will never be a byword and a disgrace to my generation. I will never be in darkness. So, and Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you will bless me indeed. Mark Hapaya. This is a man that probably had seen poverty around him. He said, You will bless me indeed and enlarge my territory. That's my hand that your hand will be with me and that you will keep me from evil. Jabez observed evil around him. He said, that, you, that I may not cause pain. So God granted him what he requested. He said, I don't want to cause pain. Keep evil away from me. Not only that, bless me. Enlarge my territory. And God said, oh, this is a man I can do business with. He has rejected his condition, and the name, the effect of the name that could have kept him down, he has rejected it. So I can do business with him. The day you come to that place and you accept that God has good promises for you, but the promises do not come to you automatically. You must engage in battle. He said, I've given you, uh, 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 go back to my, uh, my, 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 uh, my scripture. Second uh, Deuteronomy, so, sorry, Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 24. He said, I have given, he said, rise and take your journey and cross the river Anon. Look, I have given into your hands. God said, I have given the king into your hands. The Amorite, king of Hezbon, and his land. But guess what? Begin to possess it and engage him in battle. How does God give you something, but then you must fight for it? So good health is yours, but you must fight for it. Peace of mind is yours, but you must fight for it. 
the, the good things that God has promised you in his, in his word, it's for you, but you must engage in battle. Clap your hands in the name of Jesus. So I, I'm trying to let you understand that think that that theology and Christianity and mindset you have, that oh, just because I'm a Christian, good stuff must happen. Oh, do you know what Job said? It's Job said, when I waited for good, the evil showed up. You don't wait for things. You engage and, po- and take possession of it. He said, when I waited for good, then evil showed up. When I looked for light, then darkness appeared. God didn't wait for, when he was looking for um, light, the Bible said there was total darkness on the earth. And God said, let there be light, and light appeared. He spoke light, and the light came into being. God the creator. So if God had to speak things into being, why do you think that things will just happen automatically? I have given you the king, given you his land, but begin to engage him in battle and then possess it. Possess it. Begin to possess it and engage in battle. This was the promise to God's people. That the land is theirs, but they must fight. So that brings me to my, our uh, prayer points tonight. In the book of Genesis chapter 37, we are introduced to a young man by name Joseph. Joseph was born in a home where there was hostility, there was hatred, there was envy, there was jealousy among his own people. Why? Because his father loved him and had sewn a special garment and placed upon him to signify and to also let everybody know that this is uh, his favorite son. There's nothing wrong for a father to have a favorite. For whatever reason, he was the son of his old age, so he loved him. His heart was really connected to Joseph. Then guess what? Joseph, God begins to show Joseph his future, his destiny. God show, reveals a dream, shows him in a dream who he's going to become tomorrow. Naive that he was, excited, he, he sees this dream, and then he shares it with his, his brothers, thinking they'll rejoice and they'll stand with him and celebrate with him. And then the Bible says, all hell breaks loose. He shares the dream with them. And then from that day, don't forget, they hated him first of all because his father loved him. Now he's sharing a dream which showed that he was going to be greater than all of them. They were all going to submit and bow to him. So the Bible said they hated him the more. And then the hatred now moved to a higher level. They decided that they must eliminate this young man just because of a dream that God has shown. Don't forget, Joseph had not manifested the dream yet. He has not become the dream that he saw, but his, his brothers were threatened by just a dream. You don't have to become before the enemy targets you. Am I talking to somebody here? You don't have to take a seed in your stomach before they'll begin to fight you. Just because you are positioned to receive the blessings from God, you become a target. Am I talking to somebody here? You don't have to become a millionaire before they target you. Because the day they sense Jesus, Jesus was just a young boy. He had just been born less than two years. The enemy saw his star and they wanted, Herod wanted to eliminate him. Am I talking to somebody here. Jesus at that young age was not a threat to anybody, not even to himself. But some way, somehow, they hated him. Moses was born the same thing. The Bible says Moses was born because the enemy says that this young man will become a deliverer one day. The Bible said then a decree went out that every male child two years and below might be killed. Am I talking to somebody here? At this time, Moses had not received any commandment. He had not had any encounter with God. God had not told him that he's going to go to Egypt and bring his people out. He was going to be empowered. But the enemy could sense that there is something unique about this young boy. The enemy could pick signals in the atmosphere. I'm talking to somebody here. You are not where you are supposed to be. You are not what God said you will become yet. But the enemy has raised his ugly head. That is why you must rise up in battle. That is why you must engage in warfare. 
just uh, we just received a dream uh, that I'm talking to a, a, a parent here your child the reason why the enemy has set eyes on him uh, that child is going to be great one day that child is going to be an awesome child uh, am I talking to somebody here uh, and the Bible says when Moses was born they knew that this was a proper child uh, am I talking to somebody here the Lord said I should tell you tonight uh, the reason why there's so much battle around you the enemy can sense where he's taking you tomorrow what you'll become I remember many years ago I wasn't even born again the enemy wanted to kill me he put sickness on me with the doctors could not diagnose little he could sense that this young man some years to come he will be a man of God God will be using him wisely many souls will sit under his feet he'll be a blessing to his generation so they wanted to stop me before am I talking to somebody here tonight anybody that has risen up against you because of where God is taking you, because of the dream and the promises and your destiny, tonight they are coming down. If the brothers of Joseph could not stop his dream, I came to announce to your enemies, no power from hell can stop you. In the year 2023, whatever God has said in this year, it shall surely come to pass. Whatever God has promised to do with you, it shall surely stand. Who am I talking to somebody here? If you are the one, shout, I am. I am the one. I am the one. Yeah. So, so, so Joseph, you will be great. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, oh, to the point that they conspire that they will kill him. And the Bible is specific. The Bible says that because of his dream. The only reason why they wanted to eliminate, they didn't want Joseph among them anymore was because of the dream that he had. Because of the promotion that was coming to Joseph. So they decided that they were going to kill him. Then whilst they were planning and plotting about killing him, the elder brother Reuben said, oh, I believe God touched his heart. We cannot do this. We cannot kill. He's our brother. He's our younger brother. Why should we kill him? So he told them, let's rather, you know, put him in a pit and then uh, um, sell him off and let him go. Let's put him in a pit. Then we'll say that what? And not lay hands on him. Genesis chapter 37 verse 22. And Reuben said to them, shed no blood but cast him into the pit which is in the wilderness and do not lay hands on him that he, that he, uh, um, on him, that he might deliver him out of their hands and bring him back to his father. So Reuben's plan was that, or oh, you know something, I'm not going to allow them to kill him, so they should put, leave him in a pit, now I'll come back and come and deliver him uh, and restore and bring him back home to our father. So the Bible says that they did that. But then whilst they, they, they put him in the pit, they heard that they, uh, there were some uh, uh, traders that were passing. Among them was Potiphar, Mr. Potiphar. So they, they decided, let's sell, sell him to the traders. So they brought him out and then they sold, they sold his, their own brother. They were standing there and they were trading, demanding money for their brother. The Midianite trader passed by. So the brothers pulled Joseph up and lifted him out of the pit and sold him to the Ishmaelite for 20 shekels of silver. And they took Joseph to Egypt. That, that, that's a, um, a message, give me the amount in current currency, the 20 shekels. I want it, one of the translations gave me, uh, I've forgotten, but gave me the uh, uh, currency. Can you, can, can you find that for me? Or somebody convert a 20 uh, shekels. How much? No, use, use money converter. He is there, shekels. That's what they spend in Israel. The witches in your house are pulling you back to CDs. When you are in America and you are quoting CDs, you know that the witches from your background, they are strong. They have changed your currency. I didn't tell, one, one of the signs you know that the spirit of retrogression and setback and the spirit of delay is working against you is whenever, many years, so when I moved to America, anytime I dream, I'm seeing myself in Africa. I never used to dream for me, almost like five years. Anytime, five dollars and seventy cents. That's how much they sold. Can you imagine? So if you are here, every time you dream, you see yourself in your old school, high school, in Africa, in, in elementary school. You see yourself, you are always playing softball in your neighborhood. Meanwhile, here, there's basketball court. You've never seen yourself playing basketball court here. You've never seen yourself going to Redskins game. Oh, they are no longer Redskins. What do they call them? Commanders. You've never seen yourself here. 
And anytime you dream, you see yourself back home. You see, at this age, when you see yourself, you are still in high school in a classroom. With meanwhile, you have your master's degree. You are sitting in the classroom with your classmate in high school, and your teacher is asking a question. You are raising your hand. And you say that, man, I'm smart, man. I remember when I was in high school. No, the spirit of retrogression is working around you. So they sold him five dollars, what, um, 70 cents. Five dollars. They sold him. And then Mr. Potiphar bought him because he needed a houseboy to come and help in the house. So he was there. It, it's amazing that all this while the scripture described and the Lord was with Joseph. You see, when, the, when you carry a dream, when there's a promise of God on your life, God doesn't leave you. God doesn't leave you. It doesn't matter. You may go through the valleys of the shadows of death, but God will be there with you. And the Lord was with Joseph. And when he went to Potiphar's house, he had so many challenges, so many things. Potiphar liked him because God was with him. He was a man of integrity, everything. Until one day, the wife, you know, decided to cast eyes on him. And then he tried to uh, um, rape the young boy. And the boy re uh, re resisted and rejected and, uh, and left the house. And then the shame that he was so, she was so much ashamed, decided to, you know, lodge a complaint to the husband and tell the husband that this young boy tried to rape me and look at the evidence of his garment I have here. So the husband, you know, every husband... Uh, will support the wife, say that, hey, you, I've helped you and I brought you here, you're a slave and look at what you're doing. They threw him in, into prison and the Bible said in prison, the Lord was with him. In prison, he was so, he was so, they could tell God's presence so much with him that they made him the captain in the prison and then there was a baker and a butler who had wronged Pharaoh so they were also sent in the same prison where Joseph, you see, when destiny and promise of God is upon you, everything works together they did not take him to any prison, but they took him to the prison where the baker and butler, because God was still working behind the scenes. Am I talking to somebody here? So he comes into contact with the baker and butler. They had a dream. He interprets one, and then he tells them that you are going to die. You're, the the Pharaoh is going to kill you. You are going to be spared. And exactly as he told them, it happened. So when the one who was being restored, he told him, when you go, please tell them, my case. I've told you my story. I didn't do this. I, I don't deserve to be here. So two years, the Bible says he forgot about him. The butler forgot about him. Two years, he forgot about him. Until one day, Pharaoh himself had a dream. And he called his magicians. Nobody could interpret the dream and tell him what the dream was. Then, the butler remembered, oh, when you put us in prison, there was this young boy who we had a dream and he interpreted the same way exactly what he said that's what happened the baker was killed i was exactly as he told us then pharaoh called for him he was brought to the palace and then that was the promotion and the, that was the beginning of his elevation in life he was so good and was able to interpret the dream for pharaoh that pharaoh decided to make him second in command in egypt don't forget, he had a dream. He had a dream. Because of the dream, they hated him and he had to go through all he went through to now arrive before Pharaoh. And now he had been made second in command. And then the Bible says that there was famine where his brothers were. So they had to come to Egypt and come and seek for food. When they came, they came come and see their brother Joseph, who now has become what God revealed and what God spoke. And what God showed, he's in us now, exactly as God will. You see, God, you do not lie. God does not lie. It took some time, but it still came to pass. So he saw his brother. He recognized them, but they could not recognize him. Because at this point, he had changed. That's how God is going to surprise your enemies. By the end of 30 verse, they will see you and they will not be able to recognize you. Oh, I, I, don't, I think there's some coaches here. Let me try here. I say your enemies will see you and they will ask, is he the one? They will argue among themselves because your transformation and change will be so significant that they will not be able to tell 
they will see you they may have seen you at the beginning of the year with nothing in your hands uh, but they will see you how God has lifted you up uh, how God has blessed you how God has elevated you how God has promoted you how God has changed your story am I talking to somebody here the Bible says when the Lord turned the captivity of Zion uh, it was like a dream uh, your enemies will look at you uh, and ask you how did you get here how did you arrive uh, who helped you who held your hands uh, who opened the door for you am i talking to somebody here i see god's promise coming alive in your life uh, i see god's word coming into manifestation and alignment uh, i see the prophecy of god being fulfilled in this season in your life uh, who am i talking to if you are the one stand and say i receive I love that. Tell somebody. Yeah. He will accomplish. I love that. He will accomplish. Say it again. He's the Alpha and the Omega. You will carry your baby and they will know that God is with you. You will enter that office and you will know that God is with you. Talking about God's word and His promise. Say, I know. My God, who began it, He began with us. My God. Tell, tell three people around you. If God has started with you, He will accomplish it. Tell somebody. He will not leave you. My God. My God. Go to somebody and tell them. God has started with you. He will not abandon you. You are coming. and your sheep uh, um, surrounded my sheep and they bowed me to my sheep and they understood what the dream meant. So they hated him. Subjected him to all sorts of things. Until 
the dream they saw became a reality. Until the word that God gave Joseph manifested. I love Genesis chapter 50 verse 20. One of my favorite scriptures. They, you meant it for evil. But God. After he had revealed himself to his siblings. He said you guys meant it for evil. That my dream. That my destiny. You see, you know what? His brothers were okay as long as Joseph was a shepherd. His brothers were okay as long as Joseph will not become great. Or will not be greater than them. As long as Joseph will not rise in life, they were okay. There are people around us, as long as they are doing better than us, they are fine. But the day they sense that God's favor is lifting you up, that God is also causing you to rise in life, that God is also putting laughter on your tongue, as long as you are single, they are okay, even though they are married. As long as you are struggling financially, they are okay. As long as you keep coming to them to borrow money, they are okay. The day they hear that you have also landed a good job, that you will not depend on them anymore, they begin to hate you. God was leading Joseph into his greatness, into the promise. But guess what? Joseph had to fight every step along the way. It wasn't a journey that just God revealed to him and then he became. Read, when you have time, just study the book of Genesis chapter 37. Read the entire and see Joseph's lives. He had not done them wrong or evil. I told you here on Sunday... One of the things, when God says he's going to do exceedingly, that means in, in that atmosphere is that there are going to be open doors. But let me tell you this. Paul will put it there. A great and effective door is open. But there are many opposition. Tonight, I don't know what is, fight, is going to fight your dream this year. Or is fighting the dream. Is fighting the promise. Is fighting the word, the prophetic word over your life. Tonight, let that thing fall. He said, engage him in battle. He said, I have given you the land. But begin to possess and engage in battle. So, Jacob encounters an angel. And Jacob recognized that this angel can change his life. Because the name he was bearing was having effect. Jacob's name meant a supplanter, a thief, a trickster. And all his life, be proud to that, that's how he was acting. So, he encountered the angel and then began to wrestle with the angel. All night, the angel said, let me go. I will not let you go. You must bless me. You must change certain things in my life. He engaged until the angel asked him, what is your name? He said, my name is Jacob. He said, no, 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 no. Your name shall be called Israel. You see, until you engage in battle, certain changes will never take place in your life. God gives Abraham a promise in Genesis chapter 12. He said, I'm going to bless you. You're going to be the father of many nations. Your children are going to be like the sand at the seashore, like the stars in heaven. If you can count them, so shall your children be. But guess what? In Genesis chapter 20, uh, 15, he goes back to God and says, God, what would you give me in that? Are you still there and you're seeing that I'm childless? I have no child? He went back to God to remind God of the promise he gave him in Genesis chapter Tonight, our first prayer, we are going to deal with the spirit of jealousy, the spirit of hatred. There are people, don't think that the people they are, they are laughing with you, they are laughing in, your, in their heart, eh? if you know what they are thinking and conspiring. Joseph did not know that his brothers were going to sell him. When they, the Bible says when they saw him coming, they conspired among themselves. Put that verse on there for me. And they plotted to kill him. When they saw him afar of coming to them, if Joseph knew that that's what they're going to do to him, I bet you wouldn't have gone in their midst. Some of you, you are inviting the people that are behind your pain and your sorrow to your home. Oh, you are calling them every day, texting them every day. You don't know that they are the ones behind. 
<laughs> Look at the verse 80. It says, Now when they saw him afar off, even before he came near them, they conspired against him to kill him. Just because of his dream. Because they never planned to kill him until he revealed the dream to them. And so the enemy sensed where God is taking you. Tonight we are going to deal with every spirit of jealousy. Every spirit of hatred. Every spirit, every negativity that has surrounded your life to make sure that your dream, your destiny doesn't become a reality this year. Any hatred against your rising, your elevation in life, I'm taking my time so that when we begin to pray, you pray well. I told you, one of my aunties, when the Lord opened the door for me to relocate to America. After that, he heard, she heard, how she heard, I don't even know. But she heard that I'm no longer living in Ghana. I've relocated to America. So angrily, one Sunday, she went to my house and went to my father. That's my father's direct sister. And asked my father, why is it that your son, referring to me, was traveling to America, you didn't tell me? So my father was like, why were you going to get the visa? Or pay the ticket. Because even me, the father, I didn't know till the boy got his visa. No, nobody in my house knew. They only got to know when the visa was in my passport. And even the only reason they got to know, now I needed ticket money. <laughs> if I had ticket money, by the time I said, I would have arrived there and called them and said, I, 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 I've, I've changed location. I didn't have ticket money. So now I have to go and I said, I've done my part. Now you have to do your part. You are my father. Wherever you go and find the ticket money, go and find and give to me. So she went to my father. I, I'm not lying to you. True story. I mean, my siblings are watching, so they know what I'm talking about. I cannot stand here on this altar and hold the microphone and tell you a story. She said, angrily, she was upset. Why did he tell her? Why does he, do they think that she's a witch? They say, when they make such statement, immediately you know where they are coming from. Oh, do you guys think I'm a witch? That's why you didn't tell me. That's why she, because of that, she didn't talk to my parents for a long time. I've said that I've gotten a visa and come to America and they didn't tell her. Because you know why? Now they've seen that the dream and the vision and the promise and the word over my life, I'm drawing close. It's getting close. So they wanted to stop me. Joseph's brothers. But by the time they say, Jack, I have already arrived. Oh. You, you know, that's why I told you that when I arrived here, I told myself, unless, unless they bundle me and take me back. Because they are waiting for me to say, we said it, you say you have gone. Oh, so Apostle General told us, told us uh, uh, one, one incident that happened. A lady who had gone to, no, no, a lady was traveling outside the country and then she went to uh, um, the village or something to tell them that she was traveling. And then the grandmother wasn't happy about it, but didn't say anything. She got on the plane um, on the way here to America. By the time they arrived at JFK, the shoes have disappeared. So when she arrived at the airport, they told her, oh, you are not, there's some mentally not right. We're not going to accept if you are, you're having issues mentally. So they sent her back, back by the time she arrived back in Africa, her grandmother invited her home. She came home and the shoes that were missing from the takeoff to the landing was right by her, her grandma. He said, these are your shoes. You can have them. He said, why do you think that you were traveling? You will not tell me. If it has not happened to you before, you think that these are stories. You think that this, this is, you know, something we are just making it up. I pray that it never happens to you. Because it's not pleasant. That my auntie, you know how she died? You know how she died? You, how many of you, those of you from Ghana, you may remember the, this incident. There was a fire outbreak, a gas station in Accra. My auntie, some of the pictures that were circulating, I don't know whether I still have them. Why not? It was circulating, very popular when that thing happened. My auntie was among them. 
she died because she used to, she was, um, her, 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 where she used to work and the gas station shared a wall. So when the, you know, the gas exploded, it caught all of them. She was bent, she was bent and she was walking with um, some other, I think my um, cousins, two little boys. That's how she died. That explosion killed her. It wasn't an explosion. The Holy Ghost bomb that we sent. <laughs> but they ha- it had to come in the form of that explosion. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> the Bible said there is no peace for the wicked, says the Lord. There is no. Wicked people, you know, and I don't want to, she was the same one that took my brother's business. My brother stayed out of the country, traveled all over the place. Thailand, Malaysia, Japan, Greece. Uh, um, um, where are the other places that he stayed? Mauritania, uh, 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 um, uh, uh, Gambia. All over the place. Work, work on Dubai. <laughs> Dubai, it is recent that, you know, tourists has become nice. Back in the day. He struggled. All this while he was struggling. I remember his last location was in Japan. Living, working hard. He works, he sends the money. That my auntie was able to convince him without even telling my parents. No, no, they have, he has formed, um, uh, uh, um, opened a business for my auntie. My auntie says for him. But later when he came back to Ghana, my auntie said, you don't have any business here. Wickedness. He nearly, he nearly lost his mind when he returned back. He said, where's my business? I'll send all the money. He said, which business? You don't have any business here. It was that same auntie who told my father that the house that my father built in the village, he built it with my father. So they must split the house into two. This portion is hers. This portion is for my father. I can't forget it. My father sat as one, called us one dawn and told us that the house he built by himself. She doesn't know what my auntie is. That's wickedness. That Jezebel spirit. He tried to stop the dream. Tonight, our first prayer is we are dealing with the spirit of jealousy. Anybody around you, anybody who has been positioned that in their heart, they are jealous of you, jealous of your dream, jealous of your rising, that, that, that have hatred for you and everything that makes you happy in life. Any negativity that is around you, we are crashing it tonight. Because if you don't stop them, they will stop the dream. It was jealousy that made the brothers of uh, Joseph. Uh, people can be jealous of you and then they are happy that you are married. You don't have a child. How would you be happy that somebody doesn't have a job? You are happy that somebody is sick every day they are in the hospital. You are happy. You are happy. You, you have your document in America. And the person has been here 10 years with no document and you are happy. We told her, she too know why is she driving? She doesn't have papers. Why is she driving? You want her to fly? Rise up on your feet. I'm, I'm angry in my spirit. Rise up on your feet. No, no, no. This is... Uh, these are practicalities and practical things that if you don't, you, you don't do. Dave, you'll be shocked that people, people are not happy you, that now you serve God. That now you, so one day he was telling me, he was, he was doing, he was, he was having a get together in his house. Or, or friends visited him. So he told them, now I'm born again, back in the old life, oh, to break the beers, the uh, whiskeys, the whatever, the cigars, the, the uh, Marlboro, uh, what, which ones do they smoke? Um, Marlboro light. light. And which one? You people, heaven is very far from you. Heaven is very far from you. Newport News. Or what? I had vodka and strawberry. How did you know vodka and strawberry? Hey, what a shock. Someone say, what a shock. How did she know vodka and strawberry? Why What? Whilst we were drinking shandy. How many of you know shandy? 
You do not lie. Uh, oh, what was I even saying that I came here? Oh. So, so brother David, brother David, so he invited some friends and told them, you cannot drink in my house. You cannot now. The rules have changed. Things have changed here. They were so upset with him. He said, what is it? Are you the only person who has become born again? Do you know people who have become born again how many years before you? And they are, they are drinking. He said, okay, they, should, they are those people in my home. If you come to my house, you go by my rules. And since that day, they are upset with him. They are not happy. So people are just waiting for your downfall. I want us to pray. Our first prayer is, any spirit of jealousy, any spirit of hatred, any spirit of negativity in the name of Jesus. that doesn't want you to rise in life, that doesn't want you to fulfill your destiny, in the name of let Jesus. that spirit be arrested. Clap arrested. and say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say tonight, tonight. Any, spirit any spirit assigned, assigned. to to keep, me to keep me in the same spot, in the same spot, any spirit, any spirit of jealousy, of jealousy, or any spirit, any spirit of hatred, of hatred, negativity, negativity, a sign, a sign against my dream, against my to dream, stop me, to stop me, to deny me, to deny me of my rising, of my rising, as I clap my hands, as I clap my hands, let that spirit, let that spirit be arrested, arrested. say I pine, I pine the spirit, the spirit of hatred, of hatred, of jealousy, of jealousy, anybody, anybody planted around. Me, with, a me. Spirit, with a jealous with spirit, with an evil spirit, an evil spirit. Tonight, uh, tonight, by prayer, by prayer, at this ambient, at this lift up your voice and pray. Somebody pray. Any spirit of jealousy around your life, clap your hands and pray. We are rested tonight. We are rested tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Arrest them now. Arrest them now. Arrest them now. Clap your hands and pray. Be papaya. In this spirit that wants to keep you down. In this spirit that wants to keep you at the same spot. Clap your hands and pray. We are rested. We are rested. We are rested. We papaya. In the spirit arrested. of jealousy, of jealousy, of hatred, that wants you to remain in the back side, in the back side of, life. of life, that wants to keep you down tonight, tonight. by prayer. I pray. We bind it. We, bind we stop it. it. We stop it. Any spirit, Any spirit of, jealousy, of jealousy working against working you against at your office, at your office in, your family, in your family, in your bloodline, in your bloodline. pulling you down. We cut, we cut it off. Break it off. Break it off. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Cut it off now. Cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it off. Open your mouth. Cut it off. Destroy. 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 Cut it off. Cut it off. At your wife. Cut it off. Cut it off. In your home. Cut it off. Cut it off. Any spirit of jealousy that has said in your heart in your heart. You, you, you will never become, become you will never rise, you will never, you will never succeed, you will never, you will never break through. You will never break in this year, we crack rushing, we crush it, we crush it, we crush it, we crush it. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Pray, 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 pray. church, it's in prayer. We are waging war we are waging against, war. The against the spirit of hatred, of hatred jealousy, jealousy, negativity, negativity around, you, around you, your children, your children any, spirit any spirit that is saying your, your children will not attend Ivy League like schools. Like we crush it we crush in the spirit, in the spirit of, negativity, of negativity, of jealousy, of, jealousy, of, hatred. of hatred. We bind it. 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 We bind Lift it. up your voice. Lift up your voice. Any spirit of jealousy that was your marriage, 
Yes, Lord. To go down. Yes, Lord. That was your final. Yes, Lord. To go down. To go down. Be crushed. Be crushed. Be crushed. Be crushed. We scatter. We scatter. In the spirit. In the spirit. That is saying. That is saying. Your children. Your children. Go away. What? Go away. Your children. Your children. Your children. Your children. In this life. In this life. We stop it. We stop it. Crush it. We crush it. Open your mouth. We pop. We this fire. We pop. We this fire. We pop. In the spirit. In the spirit. Of jealousy. Of jealousy. That will try. That will try. Stop the dream. We stop the dream. Your destiny. Your destiny. In this year. In this year. We destroy. We destroy. We scatter. We scatter. We pull down. We pull down. Lift your voice. We pop. We pop. Put that top. Up on Taria. We pop. 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 Taria. Apataria, Epataria, 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 Apataria, 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 we pull in his spirit, in his spirit of jealousy. Of jealousy. We de- pull him down. Yes, Lord. We scatter. scatter. We pull down. We, pull up. we scatter. scatter. We pull down. We pull up. We pull down. We pull up. In his spirit, in his spirit of, jealousy. of jealousy. That is happy. That, is happy. that you are down. That, you are down. that is happy. That, is that you are in a pit. That you are in a pit. By prayer. By prayer. We stop it. We stop it. Pray. Lift your voice and pray. Somebody stop. Hey. Somebody stop it. Slap your hand. Yes, Lord. Hey. Any spirit. Yes, Lord. Of jealousy. Apataria, Baba. Apataria. Apataria, Baba. 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 Apataria, The Lord disappoint them. Amen. The Bible says He frustrates the devices of the wicked. Yes, Lord. Any destiny killer, yes, any dream killer around you, Jesus. may the Lord expose them. Expose. The same way the brothers of Joseph were put to shame. 
They meant it for evil, but God overturned it yes, Lord. into his good. Jesus. May the Lord do the same for you. Yes, Lord. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Tonight. Tonight. Any dream killer. Any dream killer. In my life. In my life. In my family. In my family. Any dream killer. Any dream killer. In the life of my children. In the life of my children. Lord, as I clap my hands. Lord, as I clap my hands. Let them be exposed. Let them be exposed. Destiny killers. Destiny killers. Dream killers. Dream killers. I come against them. I come against them. By the blood. By the blood. Pick up your voice and pray. Apart, carry your mama, mama. Apart, carry your mama. Apart, carry your mama. Let the Lord expose. Let the Lord expose. Let the Lord expose, expose them, expose them, deep killers, expose them, destiny killers. We are lift your voice. We are there them. is no peace. Yes, Lord. For the wicked, for the wicked, says the Lord. Says the Lord. Any wicked person, yes, Lord. Who is determined? Who is determined? That your dream, that your dream, will not die, will die, will not materialize, will not materialize. Your dream, your dream, will not be fulfilled, will not be fulfilled, will not fulfill, will not fulfill your destiny, your destiny in this country, in this country, in this year, in this year, in that marriage, in that marriage. That career. In that career, lift up your voice, pray, come against, dream killers, destiny killers, destiny killers. I sign against, you. against you, this year, this year. We, pull them down. we pull them down, we pull them down, we, pull them down. we are saying, we are saying. You, will not marry. you will not marry, you are saying, you, are saying. you will not have that child, you, not have child. you, are, saying. you are saying, you will not get that job, you, not get that you, job. Are, saying. you are saying, you will not live a healthy life, yes, Lord. We, pull down. we pull down, we scatter, we scatter, we scatter. We scatter. By, fire. by fire, release fire, release fire. any conspiracy, any conspiracy in the spirit, in the spirit. Any, conspiracy any conspiracy in their hearts, in their hearts. For, your downfall, for your downfall, for your death, for your death. We, expose. we expose, lift your voice, pray, expose, 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 expose
Potiphar, who was connected to Pharaoh, that God already knew and predestined that when that Mrs. Potiphar will act out of character and Joseph will end up in the prison where Potiphar's, the, ba- the servants, the baker and the butler will also be put. God was helping him. So God helped and brought the right man Mr. Potiphar to buy him because they could have sold him to anybody else who didn't have connection to the palace. Not only that, when he ended up in prison, he was connected to the baker and butler. There were other prisoners there. Why did he interpret the dreams for anybody else but the baker and the butler? God was working. God sent him help so that the dream that he showed him will become a reality. That the promise that God gave him, that Joseph, you are going to be great. He will become it. So then we are going to pray. That, Lord, the help I need. Because at every given stage, you need help. To become what God has said you will become. You will become. You are saying that, Lord, send me helpers. Wherever my destiny helpers are for this year. Those who must help me. That I will not remain where I am. That the dream will not die and the dream will not just remain a dream. It will become a reality. Some of you, your helper will be in the form of a doctor. Some of you, your helper may be in the form of a lawyer. Some of you, your helper may be in the form of a friend. Some of you, the helper may just be a form of a neighbor. You just may not know. You're saying that, Lord, whoever it is, who must help me this year? Whoever it is that my destiny is connected to in this year, Lord, bring them. It doesn't matter where they are on this planet. God can pull them. Lift up your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Wherever my helpers are, I call them by the Spirit. Lift up your voice and pray. Call them now. Call them now. Call them now. Your helpers from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west. Call them now. Call them now. Tonight, open your mouth and call them. Your helpers, wherever they are. Tonight, call them. 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 Oh, Lord. 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 Oh,
Graduated long time ago. You, most of the time, you only see friends that are dead. You grew up with childhood friends. Every time you dream, you never see your current friends. I want you to step out. And you are here also. You had a dream, and there was a confrontation in a dream. Somebody confronted you in your dream. And they gave you a warning or said something that will see how the thing you are looking for, you will get it or you will become. Step out. Let's do this quick. Tonight I have to close because tomorrow we are fasting too. So I want to close early. 
those in front lift up your two hands i want you to begin to pray in the language of the spirit if you have the gift of speaking in tongues hey! ah, 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 ah. Ah. your hand begin to pray in the language of the spirit those in front lift up your voice pray 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 that god will pull you out god will deliver you pray pray that the hand of the lord will touch you lift up for me Makapa, Mosenteria, Ibal. Those of you, stretch out your hands and pray for them. Those in front, Holy Ghost. Fire. Break. Break. Pray, pray, pray. Don't stop. Don't stop. Pray. Rakapaya papaya, Likapaya papaya, Rapakaya papaya. Pray, those in front, pray. Lift up your voice. Papaya, Rakapaya papaya, Rakapaya papaya, Likapaya papa, Rakapaya papaya, Rakapaya papaya, Likapaya papaya, Rakapaya papaya, papaya, Rakapaya papaya. Pray, those in front, pray. Rakapaya papaya, Likapaya papaya, Rakapaya papaya, Rakapaya Likapaya, Rakapaya Rakapaya papaya, Rakapaya Rakapaya papaya, Likapaya papaya, Rakapaya papaya. Likapaya papaya, rata kapaya papaya, rata kapaya papaya, likapaya papaya. Somebody pray, makapaye, rakapaya papaya, lipaya papaya, likapaya, rata kapaya, likapaya papaya, rakapaya. Somebody lift up your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray in the language of the spirit. Lift up your voice and pray in the language of the spirit. Uh, engage God tonight. Makapaya, rakapaya, papaya, lekapaya, papaya, ratakapaya, rapakaya, papaya, lekapaya, papaya, ratakapaya, papaya, ratakapaya, lekapaya, papaya, ratakapaya, papaya, rapakaya, lekapaya, papaya. Papaya, papaya, rata papaya, papaya, lika papaya, papaya. 
papaya, rata papaya, raka papaya, papaya, le papaya, papaya, rata papaya, papaye, le papaya, papaye, le papaya, papaye, rata papaya, papaya, rata papaya, papaya, rata papaya, le papaya, papaya, rata papaya, le papaya, papaya, rata papaya, papaye, rata papaya, papaye, le papaya.
Because it's part of it. Sunday, you are fasting before you come to church. You break your fasting after church. Somebody shout Jehovah. The voice you have been hearing is God speaking to you. Don't doubt, don't doubt what you hear. God has been speaking to her. She's been doubting it. She's been hearing voices and she thinks that's her mind. God has been speaking to you. Tell you about yourself, about your family. She's very concerned about her family. For extreme reason, she's really concerned about her family. And God has been assuring her. And she's been very hearing the voice. But she keeps thinking it's her mind. Amen. Don't worry. We'll continue. Next week, we have um, this weekend and next week. In this book of the altar, you will see a difference in your life. Unless you don't take it serious, but those who are taking it serious, you will experience God. You will experience God. Amen. We want to take an offering in this atmosphere. We want to sow and connect to this uh, presence and this atmosphere here. Uh, so, take your phones, take your checkbook, take your wallet, and then give a special offering to God for the outpour of His Spirit and also for God helping you to defeat the destiny killers and then dream killers and also God exposing the jealous people around you the, those who have strong hatred in their heart, conspiracy to make sure that you never rise, you never become what God has destined to be God has put them all to shame, we want to thank God for the victory you have over them, so I want you to take that See, those of you at home, you are part of the service, also release your offering Release your sacrifice. Let your sacrifice have contact with this altar. This is a potent altar. This altar speaks. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to, maybe next week, uh, I hope that uh, Brother Martin can come in and share his testimony with us. I'm hoping that he can. Sorry. Oh, he's coming this Sunday. Oh, yeah, yeah. The man, a, a few days ago, I was talking to him. He couldn't even open his mouth to God. Her sister comes in, stands in the gap. That was Wednesday, right? We started the fasting. Pray. He gets home, he receives a phone call. The brother said, it's like something has lifted off him. He said, he's back to himself. That he said, he feels like nothing has happened to him. You hear the testimony. And, and he goes back to the doctor the next day. The doctor says, what happened to you? The doctor said, the, the, the following day, or uh, Monday. They said, Monday, you can start work. Somebody who, uh, the last week when I was talking to her, they were, you know, the sugar level is high, the BP is high, some things that, strange things. Talking about some organs are not functioning right, some nonsense and crazy stuff. But through prayer, deliverance took place. And he was not even in the service. The sister was standing in the gap. He said, I feel like, she sent me a voice note. He said, my brother said, I feel like nothing, like I was never sick. Like 360 degrees. Turn, <clears throat> turn around. May that be your testimony also. I want you to take, you know, this is a good ground to sow. This is a good ground, a fertile ground. That when you connect to the grace and the oil upon the, the oil and the anointing will work for you. And the altar will be activated on your behalf. For that special offering. And then also, in times like this, you take advantage of the season and the times. And you connect. Go extra mile. Let God know that you mean business and you are serious with Him. Also, those of you who believe in tithing, you believe that, you know, God is supposed to, we are supposed to honor God with our tithe, 10% or more. You are in covenant relationship with God. I'm going to receive those tithes right now. So if your tithe is ready, it's 10% or more. You want to honor God with your tithe. Say, if I be your father, where is my honor? He said, you guys robbed me in tithes and offerings. He said, prove me in this and see if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour down blessing that you cannot contain. God's word cannot be broken. If you believe the word of God for your salvation, why can't you believe him for your prosperity and for your blessings? If your tithe is ready, move forward. Come quick. If you also gave during the week, 
you can also join them in the front here. I don't tell you what I don't do. I pay tight myself, me. So don't think that I'm telling you something that I don't do. If not, I'm among the highest five givers in this church. Even though most of you, you make more money than me. But the Lord has blessed this ministry. He has blessed us. The Lord keep blessing and prospering us. I understand giving. So when I'm giving, it doesn't, it doesn't stress me at all. There is nothing that God can will ask me financially that I'll argue with him. Never. Because I know that when he places a demand on it, that means he has something better for me. If God is asking for your Isaac, he doesn't need your Isaac. He just wants to become your Jehovah Jireh, your provider. Take, take your, uh, if your tithe is ready. I like it when students, they get some more money, they are paying tithe on it. I love it. No, they are, train up a child the way she, when he grows, she will not depart from it. He's just, she's setting her future and her destiny. 2023, you robbed God last year, 2022, 2021, 2020, 2019. In 2023, you are going to rob him. Repent. Tell your neighbor, repent. Amen. If your offering is ready, lift up your right hand. Is there anybody coming for tithe? Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for the privilege and the honor to give. Father, as I give, let this altar be activated to speak on my behalf. Lord, any destiny killer, dream killers around my life, around my destiny, in this year, may they be exposed. I render them powerless. I activate the power of the blood to speak for me in Jesus name those of you with the sight I pray for you for open heavens may the covenant keeping God keep his covenant with you may he honor his word with you may the word of the Lord upon you manifest in season may your tithe never be in vain may it never be wasted may the Lord bless the works of your hands enlarge your coast bless you keep you from evil and from harm grant you long life and good health and may the Lord put a new song on your tongue. A week by this time, may you have a testimony to the glory of God. I bless you. 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 Also, if you have any Thanksgiving envelopes, any special seat, and you carry forward some pledges, from 2022 to make sure you honor it bring it on the altar if you have your envelopes offerings come and drop it now if you have any envelopes you have to drop come and drop it worship your name if you have any envelopes come and drop it we worship your name say we worship say we worship God, we worship. Say we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Amen. Let's take this announcement. So the fasting continues tomorrow. So those of you who don't know, you've not been in church for a while. I know you you were busy, so you've come today. Uh, we have been fasting. Our uh, week of the altar, which is our time of prayer and fasting. Every year we do this. We raise a foundation which we build a building that we are believing God for in the year. So the Bible says that when uh, any, uh, anyone who is building and doesn't build on a solid rock, the foundation is not right. It doesn't matter the building you build, the building will collapse because the wind and the storm will come and try the building. So we are raising a solid foundation that whatever God will want to do in our life this year, it will be permanent. So every year, we wait on God and we pray and we seek his face. We pray for his mercies. We pray for favor. We pray for grace. We pray for divine intervention. We pray that the Lord will send us helpers. We believe God that this year, God will show us mercy and his kindness. So we started on Wednesday from the 4th all the way through to the 15th. On the 15th, that's our official closing. But uh, I'm going to extend me. I'll be going another week, uh, which uh, if you want to join me, praise God. If you're after the 15th, you are tired and you want to retire too, you are fine. But uh, um, those of you who want to go the extra with me, uh, we can go another one more week. 
Amen. So by the on the 15th, officially as a mini as a church, we are done with our fasting for the week. Uh, but if you want to continue with me, you are free and more than uh, welcome to do that. So tomorrow the fasting continues. So we are fasting. When you wake up in the morning, you don't eat anything. The last meal you eat tonight, that is it. So rush home by midnight. Once the clock hit midnight, no food must enter. The only thing you are permitted to have is to drink is water. Water you can drink. You can drink water at 1 a.m., 3 a.m., 5 a.m., whatever time you want to. So the, any food you want to eat must be eaten between now. You have how many? <laughs> One hour, 20 minutes. So if I were you, if I close now, I'm rushing home. I'm rushing because there is no food here. Uh, so, uh, but some of you, you've been ate already, you broke your fast and you came, so you should be okay. Just, you know, drink some water, some juice, and you should be fine. Amen. So, tomorrow, we, the, continue, the fasting call, we'll meet here in person at 3 p.m. 3 p.m., just one hour of prayer, 3 to 4, we are done. 3 to 4. Once, um, after we are done praying, you can break your fast. So, don't break it before you come. So, 3 o'clock, uh, 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 um, um. 3 o'clock. Who put 12 noon there? Who gave you 12, 12 noon? Eh? Okay, so it's not 12 noon. It's 3 p.m. We passed 12 noon a long time ago. Three years ago, we were doing 12 noon. We still should be doing 12 noon. If you actually, actually, we should be going 6 to 6. And I'm even giving up to 3. So we passed 12 o'clock. Some of you, all the food you have been eating, we don't even see it on you. All the food, the food you eat, them. Eh? If it's supposed to be showing on you, some of you, the fufu you be eating all these years. I'm the only one that doesn't like food. All of you, you like food. Who said Kenke here? I've divorced Kenke for the next two weeks. What was it before the fasting? Was it the Tuesday or Monday? Jesus said, "Daddy, I want Kenke." I said, "Hey." Amen. So, so tomorrow, Sunday to, when you are coming to church, don't eat. Come to church once the service is over. You know service by 11.30, 12, we are done. It's week of the altar. By 11.30, 12, we are done. You, you don't even have faith. So, we, we'll close. We'll, so, once we close, then you break your fast. Uh, um, Hopefully, maybe there may be some fruit or something around you can have. You know? And when, Sunday, when you close, go to any restaurant with my name. Tell them that my pastor says that we should come and break our fast. And you will come and pay. And then when they ask you, give my phone number and my address. I'll, I'll come there. And so, so Sunday, don't break, don't break your fast. Make sure. So this, this month, if there is any month you want, you, you want to miss church, it shouldn't be in January. This uh, month, don't miss church for anything. If you want to miss church, you wait. Starting from February, I give you permission. You can miss church. But, I mean, give God the first month and let him sanctify the rest of the month. Amen. So, the Sunday we'll be doing that. Um, also, Reverend Emmanuel, a week today, Reverend Emmanuel will be with our Apostle Emmanuel, our Apostle for Royal House um, North American Mission, and also the Senior Pastor of Grace to Grace. He will be with us Friday night, Sunday morning, and then Sunday evening. It's going to be fireworks. Amen. And I also have some special announcement for you the following week. I'll not tell you now. Actually, I'll reserve it. That day, I'll not say, I'll not say what will happen. And then you just, uh, when you come to church, it will be a surprise. I'll not tell you. I'll not tell you. It's a special surprise. This year, the Lord has given us double for our trouble. Amen. So, so make sure that you, uh, uh, you show up next week. Invite somebody. Bring some, you know, that's my father. He carries a strong grace and oil upon me. Every year he comes to be a blessing and release the father's blessing. I spoke with him yesterday. His charge is ready to come and be a blessing to us. So next week, Friday, he'll be with us. Apostle Emmanuel will be with us. 8 p.m. sharp. Don't, don't be late. He'll be here on time. And Sunday morning, 10 a.m. And Sunday evening, 6 p.m. It will be impartation, anointing, and communion service. Amen. Um... I think Sunday morning, you guys are meeting, um, uh, Amoberes are meeting at 9 a.m. And then, um, so, um, praising showers, we are meeting after the um, prayer, right? 
after the prayer rehearsal, you do it will not be as long as you normally do because we are fasting. It will be just quick so that we can minister. Also, good Sunday when you are coming, don't worry us. Don't worry yourself to wear to dress kunchai. How do I say kunchai in shepherd? How do, what's the English word for shepherd? Don't don't dress fly. <laughs> so just come casual. You know, some jeans, t-shirt, you know, tennis shoes. Just casual. Something simple. Don't worry. Go and do your hair, your nails, your toes, your your hair, your what else do you do every weekend? All the above. Don't worry yourself. Don't worry. If you like, don't come with makeup. Only the only problem is that maybe we may not recognize you. When when you when you when you don't put the makeup on, we may we may think you're a visitor, you're a first timer. I may see and say, oh, uh, who invited you? Then you know that you have. You, some of you may you can change. Eh? Makeup can change you. Amen. So so make sure that make sure that you come casual and then so that it will be easy easy go service easy wear. Amen. God bless you. Rise up on your feet. The, the, the prayer request. So, starting on Monday, we'll be bringing our request. Three things you want God to do for you this year. Just three. Don't write many. Some of you, you write the things you write. God is even upset when he sees it. So, just, just do three. Three is enough. Ah, if God does three major things for you in a year, is it not good? Why are you being greedy? I want, you want seven. What is wrong with you? What have you done for God for him to do seven for you? Some of you, even the three in one, you are going to, they are going to be sap, you know. Your, your three, three, three prayer requests, they are like 20, 23. Amen. So Monday, Monday, when we meet here in person, we'll invoke and we'll pray. But bring it to church. Write it tomorrow when you are coming, bring it in. Sunday, bring it in, and Monday we'll start working on it the whole week. Amen. Amen. Lift up and say, I am blessed. Say, this is my weekend of progress. Wherever the enemy kept me, I am moving forward in Jesus' name. May the grace, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, surely goodness and mercy shall follow us and we shall dwell in the house. If you have a testimony, please come and share with us. If there's any revelation, share with us. God bless you. I love you. If today is your first time, please come. Come and say hi to me. Come and shake hands. God bless you. I love you. Tomorrow we are back here in person at 3 p.m. sharp. God bless you. How are you?